In this episode of my Working with Evernote series, I'm going to give you five tips that's going to really supercharge your productivity using Evernote every day. Hello and welcome to episode 99 of my Working with Evernote series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to give you five supercharged tips that's going to seriously improve your productivity when using Evernote. Now Evernote has been around for a very long time in the world of apps. I've been using Evernote I think close on to nine years now and in that time Evernote has been solid. I don't believe there's been any time where Evernote has ever crashed on me, <laughs> touch wood, and it's always done exactly what I want it to do. Now I know Evernote is not the prettiest application out there and sometimes though the beauty of an app is less important than the solidity of the app. And for me, when it comes to my notes and all my research materials, then solidity and reliability is way more important than beauty. So I would always recommend Evernote as a note-taking application. But over time, as you start filling Evernote up with notes and you get to like a thousand notes, two thousand notes, three thousand notes and so on, Evernote can become a little bit more overwhelming and it can get difficult to find the notes that you really want to be working on right now. But there are a few tips that you can use that's going to really supercharge that for you so that you can find the notes instantly when you need them and where you need them. So before we go any further though, I would just like to say if you like this video, please click on the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's get into Evernote and I'll show you my five tips plus one bonus tip. Okay, let's get started right away and the first one I have for you is the command J search function. Now, everyone's heard of Evernote search is fantastic and it really is and a few months ago, maybe six or eight months ago, Evernote introduced a new search function or updated their search function which is I like to call my command J. Basically all you do is type command J on your computer and you can go into you can find pretty much anything you want. So in here let's just say I'm looking for Cary Grant because he's my favorite actor of all time. I just type in Cary, it comes up Cary Grant. I've got notes, labels. If I had a project called Cary Grant it would come up in at the top as project. I hit return and all my notes related to Cary Grant are right here. Really super fast and it's just command J. I can go into incubator which I'm going to talk about in a moment. Even though the incubator has this unique symbol at the start and it's all capitalized, all I still have to do is type in INC, INC, and it will come up right at the top and there is my incubator notes. Uh, Command J is such a powerful tool and it is super, super fast. It's one of the quickest ways to improve your productivity in Evernote. It means that you can get in there so fast. It's unbelievable. Okay, the next one is make full use of your shortcuts. Now what I mean by that is the shortcuts on the side bar right here. Now I have seven of them in here. I've got my inbox, so it just means that so I can get to my inbox very quickly right from the sidebar. I've got important information, we're coming to that in a moment. I've got incubator, again I'm coming to that in a moment. I've got my current, which is all the stuff that I'm working on this week and it goes into one label. I just add the label current. It means that I can be working directly from there and Evernote can be open on my laptop or desktop all day and I've got all my notes down one side. As you can see, there's not that many notes in there, but the notes that are in there are the things that I am actually working on this week. Word of the day is just my simple for my teaching English programs over here in Korea, I have a weekly word of the day file. Uh, content is related to all the 
all my output that I put every week, these videos, my blog, my podcast, all the ideas for content goes in there and links are to all the links that are to me are very important that I generally just forget. It's a great way to just make full use of your shortcuts. And as you can see on your mobile divorce device right here, you can see that there is a unique icon at the bottom of your screen that you can go to that will allow you to get straight to your shortcuts from your mobile device. And particularly when you're using your mobile device, it really is all about speed. So that's number two, that's work on your, make full use of the shortcuts, but don't go crazy. If you end up having 20 or 30 items in your shortcuts, then it's just gonna defeat the object. Shortcuts are ways to get to the regular notes, labels or projects that you want to use regularly super super fast if you have too many in there you're going to spend too much time searching number three is create an incubator file now the incubator file are for all those notes that you are working on right now and that you would like to keep adding to over a period of time i've got a load of things in here i've even got my bucket list in here i've got so many things in here that i would like to add to and i haven't finished developing yet so this is my <coughs> my incubator file i love this file because it's really a great place to actually just add stuff that i am continuously working on right now now once i've developed the idea i will move it into its correct work notebook and add the right label but these are the things that i'm currently working on right now and i want to have quick access to them as and when i have an idea number four four is save your most popular searches now to be honest with you this is something i rarely use these days simply because of the command j function that i showed you as number one but let's just say that i um i regularly search for a note such as shoes um actually i'm not sure oh shoes and boots so let's click on that i got my shoes and boots one here now let's say i regularly uh, save this I regularly look for this on my in my searches what I can do is I'm going to edit going to find and I can click save search I can save the search as shoes and add that as okay now all I need to do if I clear that I can just go back into my search and as you'll see shoes comes up right here and I can actually save that as a regular save so if it's something that I regularly have searched for and I often forget what i'm searching for which sometimes does happen then this is a great way of again improving the productivity within evernote and just save that search i've got some legacy ones here like the last seven days so notes that i've worked on in the last seven days will come up here i've got uh, all sorts of little ones in here let me clear that and just go back into them and so i've got ones like with no tag i got ones that i worked on last week the last day the last 24 hours these are super super useful if i'm looking for notes that i was working on and com didn't tag correctly or didn't put in its right place so save those kind of searches it can save you so much time when you're looking for something Okay, number five, the final one is create an essential note info and keep it in your shortcuts. As you can see, I've got important info here. Obviously, I'm not going to show you my real one simply because that has a lot of personal information. Now, I understand for those of you guys who are really concerned about security and really concerned about the the security of Evernote being online, then of course you may not wish to put too much sensitive information in here, but things like telephone numbers that you often have to find if you haven't saved them in your phone, then you could use that. Numbers could be the office door passcode number. Links are great for things that you regularly have to check. It could be like a link to the PayPal login account or it could be uh, some links to your banking online banking again of course be careful with your passwords and so on but the actual link can be in here when you put a link into Evernote remember if I just put in my uh, website address here it's going to become a clickable link when I hit return so that I could click on that and it will take me directly to my website so these are all clickable links 
good idea to put into your important info is this year's goals and objectives as a little reminder of what you're trying to achieve this year and of course you can put in other things in here too it's just one of those quick reference notes and if you have it saved in your shortcut menu it means that you will be able to access that data very very quickly i have things like my passport number in there because i'm regularly asked for that my ID number for here living here in Korea, my permanent residency number, I have that put in, in here. I don't really have that much worries about security, but if you do, you can actually save this as a offline note, which means it's only available on the device. So if you're working only from your mobile, maybe you want to keep that as an offline note or a notebook. That way you can actually keep things very secure. Obviously, that one's entirely up to you, but it's something that's worth having because, as I say, it really can save you time instead of searching around looking for the key information that you have to use on a regular basis. And finally, I have a bonus one. And the bonus one is really quite simple. It's make full use of If This Then That or Zapios, whichever is your favorite. Because If This Then That, and I'm just going to give you a show of this one. Uh, if this then that if I'm going to show you this simply because this can save you so much time and it can automate so many things for you in Evernote it's a superb functionality it does if this then that or Zapios if you prefer to use that and all I have to do is if I search Evernote you can find actually you won't need to look very far but if I type in Evernote here it will give me everything I need. So I can click on Evernote here and this will give you all the appellates that you can use. There are hundreds of them and there's going to be something in there that you can use to make full use of the Evernote ecosystem and if this then that. And if this then that is a free service. Zapios there is a paid tier system. I think some of it is free and you can also have to pay for premium. But these functionalities will save you so much time and supercharge your productivity. Okay, I hope you found this little episode useful. If you have any others, if you have any of your own favorite quick tips of how to speed up and be more productive with Evernote, please leave them in the comments below because it would be great to share your ideas with other people. Again, if there's any of you Windows users out there who, who have discovered that some of the tips I've given here don't work on Windows, if you know of any workarounds, please put them in the comments and help other people. And it just remains for me now to thank you all for listening, watching this video. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you very much for watching this video. Now I have a small favor to ask of you. Recently I launched a new project called Project One Million and the purpose of this project is to help one million people by the year 2020 to get better organized and become more productive. Now I'm very lucky because I discovered the power of being productive and better organized when I was in my teenage years. But what I really want to do now is I want to help other people discover the amazing benefits of being organized and becoming more productive. I want people to experience the power of every single day getting a little bit closer towards achieving their goals because they're doing something about their goals every single day. Ultimately, I want people to experience happiness, to be happy in their lives because they're always moving forward and getting closer and closer to their goals. And that's why I need your help. If you, could, if you liked this video, or even if you've taken my free latest online course, The Beginner's Guide to Building Your Own Productivity System, please share this stuff with people so that they can discover for themselves the benefits of becoming more productive, getting better at time management, and feeling that, that power that you have that you can actually get these things done. Okay, so that's really what I want you to do is just to give me a little help, push out these videos, share these videos, retweet them, post them on Facebook, tell your friends about them, email links to people, whatever you can do, because together you and me can help a million people to get better organized and become much more productive. Thanks very much for watching and thank you again for listening to this message.